This is the Flight 93 National Memorial, located at the site of the crash of United Airlines Flight 93. Until that fateful day, this was just a regular Pennsylvania field, about two miles north of Shanksville and about 60 miles southeast of Pittsburgh. A temporary memorial to the 40 heroes was established soon after the crash, and the first phase of the permanent memorial was dedicated 10 years later, on September 10th, 2011. This visitor center sits on a hill overlooking the crash site and the white marble wall of names below. Here's the courageous account of what unfolded in the skies above me on September 11th, 2001. United Flight 93 was scheduled to depart at 8 a.m. from Newark, New Jersey to San Francisco, California. However, the Boeing 757 was delayed 42 minutes due to runway traffic. By the time Flight 93 took off and was heading west over Pennsylvania, three other planes had already crashed into the World Trade Center and the Pentagon. At 9.28 a.m., air traffic control heard screams in Flight 93's cockpit. Moments later, terrorists took over the controls and told its passengers, remain sitting, we have a bomb on board. The passengers were herded to the back section, and within a few minutes, the plane changed course and was heading for Washington, D.C. Several of the passengers made phone calls to loved ones, who informed them about what was happening with the other terrorist hijackings. One of the passengers, Todd Beamer, tried to place a credit card call through the phone on the back of the seat in front of him. But he was routed to a customer service supervisor, Lisa Jefferson. With FBI agents listening, Beamer informed Jefferson that hijackers had taken over Flight 93 and that one passenger had been killed. He also shared that two of the hijackers had knives and that one appeared to have a bomb strapped around his waist. When the hijackers suddenly veered the plane south, the passengers knew they had to do something. According to cell phone conversations, Beamer and three other men formed a plan to take the plane back from the hijackers. The other passengers and crew agreed to the plan as it was quietly relayed up the aisle. They decided to storm the cockpit. But first, Todd Beamer recited the Lord's Prayer and the 23rd Psalm, and the other passengers joined in. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Todd Beamer then asked Lisa Jefferson, if I don't make it, please call my family and let them know how much I love them. After this, Jefferson heard Beamer clearly shout, are you ready? Okay, let's roll. These were Beamer's last words. The plane's voice data recorder later revealed pounding and crashing sounds against the cockpit door and shouts and screams in English. Let's get them. A terrorist is heard shouting in Arabic, Alua Akbar. At just past 10 in the morning, Flight 93 crashed into this empty field at 580 miles per hour. Everyone on board was killed. It turns out the plane was only 20 minutes away from its suspected target, the White House or the U.S. Capitol building in Washington, D.C. As sad as that day was, this was a true story of faith, courage, and heroism a story that reveals the greatness of the American spirit.